press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. So, uh, you were a national leader as well. I mean, you've always been a national leader. Now, move to the state. How do you look at the national picture now? Do you think that what's happened in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan is also possible nationally? Because there again, the gap between the Congress and the BJP is about 12%. Well, again, you're putting the figures in, in one format. Let me put the figures in the correct perspective. The BJP won the last parliament election, the 2014 parliament election, by 31, getting 31% 31 of the vote. That means 69% of the people of this country were not with them. No matter how much Mr. Modi says, we have a national man mandate. But, but that's Jan, the way first pass the Jan Adesh, No, I know. Jan Adesh. Hai. Then you don't call that a Jan Adesh. You don't say I have a national mandate. Okay. So when you look at this 31% and you look at it that 69% uh, has voted against them, it's not by opposing alone you win elections. It's by exposing. You don't oppose more, you expose. And I think that this government, this government has been exposed with the promises uh, which they made. And these are sensitive things. All I got to say is, uh, I said this in my meetings in Madhya Pradesh. I said, you are making India, stand up India, skill India, digital India. I used to ask the crowd, aap mein se koi hai? Digital India wale? Aap mein se koi hai? Skill India wale? And they would shout and whistle. I must tell you this. One and a half years ago, two years ago, when I attacked this government, or I attacked Mr. Modi, somebody would look in the sky, somebody would look left, and somebody would look right. This time, they would clap, whistle. I saw this sentiment changing. Were you attacking Mr. Modi or you were attacking Shivra Singh Chauhan? I was attacking both, because I had to take on both. I had to take on Mr. What got you more cheers? Uh, attacking Mr. Modi. 